Hello, bonjour, and welcome to your new Bonner Private Wines video. Let's continue our exploration of the wonders in the world of wine, even though we're not going to be talking about wine per se today. Today we are looking, as you've probably guessed from my setting here, we're going to be talking about wine openers. Yes, we're going to be talking about corkscrews, but not only all of those aren't all screws, literally screws. They are, let's say, wine bottle openers. I'm going to be testing five different types and telling you about five different types of wine bottle openers opening uh, and showing you how they work opening all those different bottles of wine for you telling you which ones are really worth having in your cupboard which ones are really practical and handy to have I'm also going to be telling you about the six type that I couldn't get my hands on uh, for to test and show you how it works today but I've used them I'm going to show you a few pictures and tell you about them whether you should have one or not and I'm probably going to throw a seventh type as well and yeah why we're at it open an, a seventh bottle of wine with you today I'm also going to be telling you about a couple of very handy affordable wine accessories that are make your wine experience a little bit uh, easier a little bit better as well through your video so we're going to be going through quite a lot of wine bottles and quite a lot of uh, practical aspects of opening a bottle of wine. My fellow wine loving friends, Julian here. Before we get started with the video, there is something that you have to know about. This video was made possible by the Bonner Private Wine Partnership and the reason I work with them is not just because it's been called the most unique wine club in America, but because they truly love the wines that they choose for you. Founded by Will Bonner, the partnership is a small group of wine lovers who have come together to import excellent small batch wines that might otherwise get completely overlooked by large importers. They get them. Right now you can get your hands on three rare extreme altitude red wines from Argentina from some of the purest highest vineyards in the entire world, way up in the Andes mountains. No middlemen, no additive packed supermarket wines here, no inflated cost. Plus you'll get exclusive access to more wine education videos from me, just like the one you're about to watch, to make sure you become an educated wine connoisseur. So make sure to check out the link in the video description to see if you want to become partner in something truly special in the world of wine. But for now, back to your video. Let's get right into those five different types of wine. So we're gonna start with the most obvious, the most common type of wine bottle opener. This is called a waiter's friend or a waiter's corkscrew because most waiters in restaurants and wine bars have one of those because they can easily put them in their pocket and they do work really well. I'm also at the end of this video going to tell you which one of those is my daily driver, which one I simply prefer, which one I personally use on a daily <laughs> pretty much daily basis, yes, because I work with wine, tasting wine all the time, which one I use on a daily basis, so you know which ones perhaps you may want to choose as well, but all of the others are also very, very practical. So let's go through them. The waiter's friend. I'm sure you know already how um, one of those works, but I'm still going to get you through the process. So many of those come with a little knife on it be careful with this knife when you're taking a plane do not take one of those with a knife on your hand luggage a few of those have been taken from me by the tsa because yes this is considered obviously a weapon in uh, the cabin of an airplane uh, there is a little bit of a debate whether you should cut the foil with this knife on top of the ring or what we call the ring or the crown of a bottle or at the bottom most sommeliers will tell you to cut it underneath uh, the ring here because it there's a little bit less chance that the wine gets in contact with the foil and it is a little bit easier so I'm gonna go underneath the ring but on top of the ring works well as well the good thing about going underneath the ring is that it also guides you to cut the foil rather easily and yeah that's how you do it I am not a sommelier as you know I am a winemaker so I'm not professionally trained and extremely precise with this process I know how those works nonetheless so this is how you cut the foil and then as you know you are going to be screwing in the screw of your corkscrew <coughs> you screw it in 
The good wine uh, openers and corkscrews like this will have two uh, different levels. So you want to use the first one, the short one first. So you start pulling out the cork like this. Uh, I'm sure many of you know this process, but there are still a lot of people that don't realize that there are two levels here. And then you, you can use the first one, which makes the process much easier than when you only have uh, one of them. For example, this one only has one level which makes it slightly uh, harder. But if you know that process, use the first one and then you move up to the second one. And this is how you open your bottle of wine. Very easy, uh, very practical. Those are nice. You can have them in your pocket. This is why waiters have them in their pocket. You can pick up different designs. You can pick up your favorite material, your favorite design. Uh, mine has my name written on it. You can write the name of your company. These are affordable. They are different brands. Uh, more or less better built or not those are a staple you know about them they are work really really well nice and seamless so let's move on to other types of wine bottle openers and this is called uh, i think it's called a winged uh, corkscrew and it's also called a butterfly because it's got those two little wings so let's how do you use one of those so i've already cut the foil on this bottle of wine as you know to use those, you are going to be, <clears throat> as always, screwing in uh, your screw. It's what happens with most core screws. And as you know, the wings are going to be coming up as the screw goes in. And this is it. <clears throat> and from there, the practical aspect of this type is that the wings just help you get the screw out. And then you pull the rest of the cork out. And here it goes. Those are very easy, they are very handy. A couple of downsides with those, they are pretty big. You can't put this one in your pocket, it's going to take up a little bit more space in your cupboard. Um, and uh, if your cork is a little bit damaged, some, if the screw is not long enough or is not built well enough, some will damage the cork quite a lot. You can see how the cork is damaged quite a bit here. Uh, those also do not come with a foil cutter, so you have to use a knife or a foil cutter. And I'm actually going to be telling you more about this foil cutter here. So those are handy, very traditional, at least here in France. A lot of people have them around. They've been around forever. They are good, They're not necessarily my favorite type, not the one I use on uh, a regular <coughs> basis at all. So if you do not have a foil cutter, because you have uh, one of those, for example, uh, I do recommend that you acquire or that you buy and that you have one of those small foil cutters at home because what this is going to be uh, allow you to do is to, you just put the foil cutter here on top of the bottle, just like this, and then you turn it and here we go. And you can see that the cut is very, very easy. It's very, very clean. And your bottle looks absolutely fine, absolutely perfect. And this drives us to the third type of um, wine corkscrews that I've got here. So this is essentially a bit of an improved version of the what we call the twist and pull. So twist and pull would be just a screw, as you know, with a bit of a leverage here that you would just screw in and pull, which can be a little bit harder. This type is going to provide a guide to our screw. So you just apply your core screw like this and then you are going to be turning your screw in and screwing in your, your screw. And once you're at this level, you just simply continue screwing and screwing and you can see that it actually pulls the core out very, very easily. Not much effort. It's nice and clean and easy. And then you just unscrew <coughs> the cork out of your corkscrew. And that's very, very easy. I quite like this type because they are very, very easy. Very anyone can use those. It doesn't really need much explanation. You can also choose the design and material. Some are very, very well built. Uh, very practical. Again, this is not one that you're going to be able to transport very, very easily, but I quite like this type of wine bottle opener. Now let's get into the more different ones that you may not have seen all that much uh, used all that much around. So we are going to be talking here about what is called an ASO wine bottle opener or a two prong 
wine bottle opener 